Welcome to the first episode of Abuag Vanilla Survival Series. Today is episode 1 and we're going to start off for our first time on this amazing map. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like. If we reach 500 likes in the first 24 hours, I will upload part 2 tomorrow. Subscribe as well if you want to see more Buwak content and each one helps the channel a lot. Today we're going to give away a mythical which is a decked out biker vest. To have a chance of winning make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. If you're a channel member you also have a higher chance of winning. Also make sure to join the 5 mythical giveaway July edition, the link is in the description below. Today's video is sponsored by Ravenbound. Ravenbound is an action rogue lead game with the open world freedom to choose your own path. This game has permadeath and permanent progression. In this game you are a vessel to the raven, an eternal weapon forged by imprisoned gods and in order to free them and restore order, the raven must rebuild its power. While each vessel is lost forever once they fall in battle, the strength they bring to the raven is not, allowing you to come back stronger each time. The combat is fast paced action, you get to battle multiple creatures and monsters. The game is a unique fantasy open world inspired by Scandinavian folklore. Progression in this game comes in the form of cards and unlocks you can find on your journey. Each lifetime new cards are unlocked, some by chance and some by player choice and as you go stronger, so do the rewards. In the latest update, Ravenbound have also added a new weapon type, exploration chests and new cards. I have played this game myself and honestly, as soon as I started playing it, I could not stop. I was very impressed with the graphics and with the gameplay. So if you guys are interested in these type of games, I definitely recommend that you give it a try. Currently, Ravenbound is 20% off during the Steam Summer Sale from June 29th till July 13th. You can claim the new Hammer of Avalol DLC for free during the Steam Summer Sale. And if you guys are interested, the link will be in the description description below and let's get straight into the action all right ladies and gentlemen i am in book my first time ever now this server is full vanilla it is on normal mode it's not going to be that easy especially this map and honestly i've never played this map i have no idea this is literally the first play test on this map so there are things that are probably going to change but yeah today we will figure out we will try to learn the map i do know very few things basically some guns i do know that the map is a grind styled map but yeah today we're gonna start off a series we got ourselves some berries okay well those look good and we are high already all right, we've learned one thing. Those berries make you high. All right, so I'm gonna suicide. I don't want to run around being high. Yeah, we're gonna check out this town first or wherever where we are. Have right, we punched that? Oh, we got clothes. Okay. All right, so the clothes, we can salvage them and they gave us... What is that? Sewing threads? All right, let's wear that. Yeah, we cannot punch those. Also, on this map, you get to break a lot of items. We got ourselves a flashlight. Lovely. Can we break these as well? I don't think so. Let's jump straight in. There's pizza over here. Yeah, we got ourselves pizza. Let's go. But yeah, there's not going to be that much people. But there will be some people here and there. The end of the series, I do want to do a base raid. That's 100%. And full progression of the map. All right, let's salvage the clothes. Get ourselves some food. Oh, these gave us glass fragments. Okay. Glass shards. Right, I don't know what those are used for. Okay, well, we can do lanterns, glass solar panels. And with Titan... All right, we need to... Figure out how to get titanium then. There's a zombie here. All right, we Okay, well, we got ourselves a monster key. All right, easy gun. But yeah, the server is going to have decay and all of that. We got ourselves... Uh, looks like moldy... All right, we can make it into compost. That's very cool. All right, well, there's duct tape. We can break that. Electrical wires. Can we break these? No. We can break that as well. Gives us batteries. Lovely. All right, we can break the laptop as well. Electric components. We can break the desk too. Alright, we got ourselves nails. We got ourselves a cowboy hat or antlers. Alright, so I need to figure out where the high tier loot is, actually. I know that on this map, it's we got ourselves a Swiss Army knife. Those didn't give us anything. We can open all of these as well. Yeah, they gave us batteries. I'm gonna use the Swiss Army knife. The animations are very cool as well. At some point, we're gonna have to build a base as well. But for now, I'm just gonna explore. Trying to get loot, trying to see what's important. Alright, well, paper is used. There were libraries and dynamite. Alright, well, that's good to know. Uh, these dropped pants. Let's salvage that. I'm pretty sure if we drop all of these and uh, we get ourselves the sewing treads, we can upgrade it. Yes, and we have a lot of space now. Jesus. Uh, that's very good. We need to do the same thing for the shirt. We got tarp. We got some more pants. Let's salvage that as well. Tarp we can salvage it into cloth. We got ourselves a bedroll too. That's really good. Uh, in order to salvage stuff, we need the hacksaw. All right, that's good to remember. Hacksaws are important. I'm pretty sure even flashlights. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we need to find like a construction area where hacksaws can spawn. Alright, there's a spitzer over here. Let's kill him. Alright, there's also all types of zombies. We got ourselves chocolate. Cold chocolate. 
Our dirty rag, we cannot use it, I think. But we can maybe make a normal rag, yes. In order to make it into a bandage, we need metal. But in order to get metal, we need the hacksaw. And the cars give us items that dropped spark plugs. All right, let's loot this house next. There's a zombie in here. But yes, if you guys want to see perhaps a 100 days hardcore survival series where I can... Oh, I'm bleeding. I'm gonna die. All right, let's med up. But yeah, as I was saying, we can do a 100 days hardcore series. I think that would be cool. Well, we didn't gain any HP, we just stopped bleeding. Can we not gain HP from these rags? I don't think so. And we're very close to death. Also need to figure out how I get more ammo for this shotgun. We need buckshots. Pretty sure we can get them from like farms. You know, let's pick up the moldy food. Can make it into compost or a seed. For now, I think compost is okay. I need to get myself some meds because I'm gonna die very soon. We still need a lot of items. I'm pretty sure in order to chop down a tree, we are going to need an axe or something like that. All right, well, what I'm going to do is, since I'm low, I'm just gonna make a bed, claim it, and then we're gonna suicide. And we'll wait for our home, since there is no slash home or TP or any of that. It's full vanilla. And then we would be at least a bit more HP than like 10 HP or how much we're at. All right, we got six more seconds. All right, we are back. Let's pick all of the items up. But yeah, since this is a playtest, there are, some things may change in the future. So when this video is released, probably some stuff did change. All right, well, let's salvage the bed. Oh, thank God there's fast salvage. All right, let's go back to the town and continue looting. Yeah, we didn't get it to 100 HP. We got at 50. All right, let's equip the Swiss Army knife. All right, let's kill him. Let's do drop pants. Let's salvage. I also like the weather. It's currently a storm. A kitchen knife. I think that's better than a Swiss Army knife, to be honest. Yeah, it's bigger, so maybe it is. Yeah, it takes two hits to kill him. Not too bad. All right, drop them all the potato and water. But a plastic bottle of water. All right, and that gives us polymer. All right, I don't know what that is used for till now. There's a bicycle here. Construction zombie. There's a lot of flankers as well, man. Every zombie is either a flanker or a spitzer or something like that. All right, he's dead. He dropped a log. Nice. Alright, so something on this playtest as well is there is no quest. We cannot- Oh, we got a part of the map. Oh, we don't actually get the map. We just got a part of it. Okay. I don't know where exactly we are, but we got a part of the map. We got ourselves a car tire as well. Yeah, you know, we still cannot salvage this. But yes, on this, there is no quest line. The owner said that it's not finished yet. So mostly for this series, we'll be focusing on actually survival progression through the map. Alright, we got ourselves some more food. Cheesy chips. Right, there's a med bag here. Let's- uh, bandages. Oh, thank God. We actually really do need those. Right, let's med up. Those should give us some HP at least. Let's take this shirt. And now maybe we can actually upgrade our main shirt. Yeah, even with cloth, we can make it into sewing threads. Right, let's drop those. Right, let's unequip it. And there we go. We got ourselves a large shirt, finally. All right, now we actually have a bit more storage. So that's really, really good. Oh, a hacksaw and an axe. Oh my God. Bro, I've been blessed. I literally got two important items. Oh, there's two X's. All right, so now we can start chopping down trees. We can start savaging items, dirty rag. And we can make bandages finally as well. Let's right, see if these drop us any clothes. Yeah. Oh, I accidentally made it into a shirt. Yeah, with bleach, we can also make... We can remove colors and all of that. That's very cool. All right, salvage this. I'm gonna probably just continue looting the town for a bit. And after that, we'll probably just go start building the base. Oh, vests. Oh my god, those give us a lot of space, actually. Yeah, we're gonna go all pink today. All right, this dude dropped pistachios. Let's kill this dude next. Have we... Yeah, we've already looted this car. Also, I'm noticing that there are no cars. There are just bicycles everywhere. Like, we cannot drive an actual car. Unless somebody already took all of them. All right, and XP. A lot of them are already taken, but most of them aren't. And there's a lot of XP for each skill point. So, like, 100 XP for one upgrade. That's crazy. There's a deer over there. Oh, he's running away. What? Okay. Yeah, he's running. Come back here. Oh, he's gone. Bro, the animations are sick, though. The way he was running was actually epic. Okay, so I looted a bit, got myself basically nothing really that good. I did get myself a new melee, which is called the Clearing Axe. I don't know if it's anything special, but it looks pretty cool. Also, I'm thinking of making a bow. There we go. We got ourselves a bow. And in order to make arrows, we need just wood and metal. That's very, very easy. All right, let's see how much arrows it takes to kill a normal zombie. I'll pick that back up. Oh, two shots. All right, that's not too bad. And we can fix them just with metal. All right, that's actually lovely. They are very weak, though. I think with, like, 10 shots, the arrows are gonna be gone, basically. All right, so I don't know if this one... Yeah, we can chop down trees with it. Also, we can hotkey a lot of items. I'm noticing, like, all the melees, we can hotkey them. So in primary and secondary, we can just have guns. All right, and let's see how much it takes to actually chop down a tree. All right, not that much. Yeah, we got ourselves some logs. 
Also, I'm noticing you can pick up random logs all around the map as well. All right, this dude's dead. Yeah, let's chop down some trees. I'm pretty sure we can stack them as well. So that's really good. All right, so I've been chopping down for quite a bit. I've noticed that in order to build a base, we need a hammer, which unfortunately I don't have. So we cannot just start building a base instantly on this map. We need an actual hammer and we need an axe as well. And we need a lot of wood. It takes so much to just make a, a floor. So building a base is not going to be that easy, which is kind of cool to be honest. I actually really, really do like that. So our next step is making a hammer. I made myself some more arrows. Even if uh, anyone shows up, currently there's not that much people on the server because most of the people doing this playtest are from America and I'm from Europe. But when I was not playing, the server was practically almost full. So they may actually be fully decked out and all of that. So we gotta be careful still. Alright, let's kill the zombies. I really like this bow though. Takes only two shots, which is not that much. For a normal zombie at least. Let's check out this car, it gives us an axle. Alright, let's salvage that, it gives us metal. And an umbrella. Okay, umbrella looks cool. Yeah, we basically like a normal umbrella. Alright, so currently I'm just clearing out as much zombies as possible. We can also hotkey the bow, which is very cool. Alright, well this guy is taking a lot to die. Yeah, he took three arrows and a headshot with a flashlight. Yeah, my arrows are gonna start breaking soon. They're, they're all very low. You can just craft more though, it's fine. And there's wood literally scattered all around over here. Let's check out in this tool area. Oh my god. Oh, dude, where the hell did they all come from? There wasn't even one following me. Well, I'm dead. After I don't know how I died there. That's a feels bad moment. Alright, well, time to restart. Alright, so I've been looting this town for a bit. It's not the same time I was in, but I did get myself some pretty good items. First of all, I crafted myself a stone hatchet and a stone axe. It's very easy to make, just with metal and with wood. This dude almost killed me as well. And we got ourselves a rake. Nice. But yeah, we got ourselves a hacksaw, a hammer as well, which is very good. Which was what we were looking for last time. But I think this town is in generally better than the last town. I've noticed a lot of construction areas and at the edge of the town I saw shops and all of that, which is very good. So maybe I should build my base very close to here. Yeah, there's a lot of tools everywhere, man. I got three of these wrenches. We got ourselves a crowbar too. Oh, a sledgehammer, lovely. That's a cot, okay. We got ourselves a hat, let's salvage that. So got ourselves a lantern too. Another lantern right there and another axe. Cowboy hat. That gave us leather. Okay. We can make ourselves a bone bow with leather. Which is obviously better than a normal bow. Duct tape. The only thing I kind of regret from dying from that last run was the master key. Because apparently guns are very, very rare. Yeah, we can make a door with nuts and bolts. We got two of those. This map is a grind even to build a base. Alright, anything good in here? Another sledgehammer. I'm gonna salvage it. Yeah, it gives us quite a ton of metal. We can also stack metal the same as we can stack logs. But well, yeah, we're gonna continue finish this town. After we finish looting this town, then we will go and start building a base. That's obviously our next step. Oh yeah, so this town, there's a police station. There's clothes, stores, and all of that. I didn't make a bow, got myself some arrows, so yeah, we cannot break the glass of this one. We can't even fit through. There's a lot of zombies. There's a car here. I don't think we can search for parts, though. Oh, a gun. Oak bear. Okay. Let's take the police clothing. Let's salvage them. They should all give the same storage. Alright, so there's all, the, all of these lockers. A blueprint. Okay. Cage light blueprint. Another blueprint. Flashlight blueprint. Okay. So we gotta get blueprints to learn certain items. We need blueprints for guns, perhaps. We need blueprints for raiding gear. Alright, let's take this dude. Bones. Let's salvage these clothes. Alright, so I can actually make a bone ball and a headlamp. So I'm gonna make a headlamp first. We already have a normal ball. We'll just make... That one later, we can get a traffic cone. They gave us polymer. Lovely. Alright, let's kill this dude. I'm actually really liking this map till now. What is that? Banded mask? Let's salvage that. Salvage the glasses as well. But yeah, I think it's time to start chopping down a lot of trees so that we can start building, man. Alright, so let's see what this actually gives us. Yeah, well, stone, a bunch of other nodes. Oh, yeah, we're full of loot. We can make ourselves a floor. It takes so much, though. It's crazy how much it takes. Let's make a rag. We should start building because my inventory is actually full. Let's make a floor. Oh, that is also big in the inventory. That's like 4x4. Four four. That was crazy. Okay. What is that? Pyro. I don't even know what that is. Alright, so all of this area is out of bounds. We cannot build close to the town. So let me just go a bit further away. I do want to build close to here, though. I like this town. There's a campground down there as well. Pretty nice. Do I have an umbrella? I should have an umbrella. 
I don't think so. Alright, let's just go up then. So, some things about this map is, first of all, it's been in development for like two years now. So, I'm really excited that I'm one of the first players to be playing this map. And apparently, there's like thousands upon thousands of items. I mean, till now, we've already seen a lot of new items. And there is... Oh, we're Berrywood. Uh, this gives us the brochure. We already have the same one, though. Okay, so this is Berrywood. We're Berrywood. Yeah, we're close to Ontori Factory, then Scrapyard. And I'm pretty sure that mark on the map was also like a mine entrance because on this map, the mines are a big location. It's a very important location to get nodes. And I'm pretty sure there's some other secrets down there, but we'll explore that later on in the series. Yeah, we'll place the floor there. We'll just place all the placeables here as well, the metal. We cannot do the car engine though. We'll salvage that. We'll put the black cot. That looks really cool. And next is gonna be time to just build base. We cannot do pillars. We can do walls though. Our pillars don't exist on this map. Lovely. Oh, so we can do pillarless walls. Alright, so I got enough wood for two walls. They're also massive for inventory. I need to figure out how to make storage actually. So for a crate we need logs and just nails. Yeah, we have nails. So all we need is just logs. Okay, good. So that's gonna be my next thing to get. Alright, maple crate. Oh my god, that's so much storage, actually. Right, it fits so much items in there. Alright, let's start putting all the items that we don't need right now. But we'll probably use them later. Compost is used for fertilizer with bones. Alright, I'm pretty sure for the bone bar as well. Let's put all of these in there as well. Plastic bottle. I don't know what that is used for. Just for polymer. Also, this handheld, I can make it into a, a wall lens. I mean, that's, all right, that's sick as well. I like that. Alright, so I got wood for a wall and a doorway. We can make half doorways and half walls, actually. That's so cool. I'm gonna make a half roof just to experiment. Maybe we can make, like, a ladder to go to the second floor. That is actually quite a good idea, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna do a bit of a different base design than usual since there's new buildables. Alright, so we can make the doorway already, but we need nails in order to do a door. There we go. And we're gonna make a ladder, and then we're gonna build the second floor, basically. Alright, so I'm over at Berrywood. I'm gonna continue loot. I'm gonna see if there are any good locations that we can loot. There's a pharmacy over here, which is pretty good. It's really the closest shop to our base. Alright, let's use the sledgehammer. Yeah, it's two hit. Zombies are a bit stronger than I thought. Alright, he's dead. He dropped more default. I'm gonna make it into compost, obviously. Also, on this map, I don't think there's actually, like, a military base. I think the only place to get guns is either via airdrops. I'm not actually sure about that. Or from the dead zone. In the dead zone, we need a gas mask, obviously. And I have no idea how to get a gas mask. But eventually, we will figure it out, obviously. Alright, let's check out the boast office. There's a bunch of these lockers which can give us blueprints, which maybe will unlock, like, a gun blueprint or anything else. Or C4 blueprint. I don't know how it works till now. Alright, so it's only dropping paper. Yeah, only paper. We're gonna take them anyway, because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be useful later on. Yeah, we got ourselves a stack of paper. Right, let's check out the back. There's more lockers, there's a bunch of shelves. Blueprint, lovely. Cage light blueprint. I salvaged that because we already have it. And with blueprint fragments, we can make a blueprint book. And I guess with a blueprint book, we can select what item we can research. I am unsure though. Top hat. Alright, well, we're currently in the cinema. There's a bunch of... What is this? Tape? And there's a big man here. We got ourselves a hacksaw. Now, this thing, I'm pretty sure, is like a locker which we can raid inside. Which can give us probably some of the best loot that there is on the map. But we obviously cannot blow it up yet. So maybe with grenades or with C4. But well, we'll check it out later, obviously. Alright, so we're back in base. I chopped down a bunch of trees, made myself a ladder. Let's go. Yeah, we should be able to place it maybe like this. And then we should go up. Bro, this half thing is so cool. You can use it for like storage areas and all of that. Alright, so I got myself two walls. I'm gonna finish the second part of the base. Then we'll continue looting afterwards. And maybe I should make the ladder actually like this. And I'll move the lantern. We'll put that right over there. Right, let me take all of the wood from my from my crate so that we can make ourselves another wall. We still need to get more though. It takes a while to chop down all of these trees. And I have a broken leg too. Yeah, we could... We could place the stack of paper as well, that's really good. Alright, wall placed and roof placed. And our base is technically fully secured now. I'm gonna move the scrap metal over there. 
truly amazing. And maybe now it's time to continue exploring a bit further away from this town. There's still so much left to explore, but I'm gonna move my crate upstairs as well. Upstairs it'll be like the crate area. Down here is where I'll place my placeables, my paper as well. Maybe I'll try to find myself some oak bear ammo, which looks exactly like a cult. But I think it has slightly da better damage than a cult. Let's put the paper there, and we'll put the crate here. We'll put it right over here at the very corner. Oh, a backpack. Oh my god, finally. Oh, two backpacks. Ayo, what? <laughs> Backpacks are actually massive, bro. They have so much storage in them. Also, it is a full moon. Absolutely terrifying. There's also a, another big man here. There, there's a lot of big men in this town, man. There's one here, one the shop next to it. It's crazy. There's also a hardware store here. Log. Electric components. I have no idea what those are used for. Tarp. Nothing. Another hacksaw. Alright, well, an airdrop is passing by. Alright, oh, there it is. Wait, it may actually land here. Wait, I think... Oh, no, it's not gonna land here. It's gonna land pretty close, though. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. There's a pink bicycle here. Perfect. And I'm going straight for it, man. God knows what loot is inside an airdrop. Especially on a survival map. Probably food and that kind of stuff, though. But I'm still gonna check it out, man. That's a definite. So at the same time, we're gonna explore some parts of the map, too. Oh, and I fell off a cliff. Please don't... I shouldn't die, right? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> now we're gonna hit a tree. Oh, he literally flipped. Alright, the airdrop is right back there. We are in a brand new town. Alright, let's hope it's gonna have good loot, man. Alright, let's kill these... Bruh, these zombies hear me from a mile away. Also, this sledgehammer is OP. Okay, so we got generator, sentry magazine, bunch of food, a sentry gun. Okay, bunch of filters. Those are pretty nice. No gas mask, though. I was really hoping for one. But we got a lot of food, a lot of water, which is actually important in this map. Oh, wait. Bro, we can equip the sentry gun. Oh, but I can't shoot. Okay, makes sense. I think it's just for that so that we can reload it. Right, if we ever make it sorry to already have this. Right, maybe it's time to go back to base or maybe we could keep exploring a bit. Let's check out what this has. A car jack. Not bad. Right, I found uh, a gas station by the looks of it. Let's check it out. Yeah, there are a couple of zombies. Let's kill them. Alright, this gave us an axle. Axle gives us a lot of metal, actually. So that's pretty nice. Oh, I missed. Alright, hit him. Hit him again. Let's just kill him with the sledgehammer next. Bro, come back here. He's running away from me. Also, there are hard beacons on this map. But I assume that they're kind of hard to do. But maybe we'll do one later on. Obviously, not anytime soon. <laughs> another hacksaw. And this gave us another flashlight. I could pick them all up and just salvage them. It's good for metal. Let's salvage the boony. Salvage the axle as well. There's another big man over here. A knife sharpener. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Nails. Lovely. Electric components. I really, really want to know what's inside these big men. Right, we are back in base. Double your loot run. Got some metal as well. Let's salvage that. Got a generator. Absolutely beautiful. All we need now is just a turret. Since we have a generator as well. Yeah, if we salvage it, we cannot craft it. Because we need the blueprint for it. Alright, that's good to know. Just place that there for now then. And we'll go up here and we'll continue depoting all the items that we have gotten. All of the meds that we got. And I made myself a bone bow as well. We could get rid of the normal wooden bow. And I need to make... More arrows. So let's just unstack that. Let's take the wood that I have as well. I'm gonna check what we can make with the rocks. I'm pretty sure we can make like a stone buildables and all of that. Let's just put the scrap here for now. We got 50 scrap basically. That's pretty nice. Alright, next I'm probably just gonna continue farming to be honest. Yeah, we can chop down trees with a sledgehammer. Maybe it's better than a normal axe. I don't know. Yeah, it took us less time. Then with an axe. Slash cameras are OP in this map, man. Made myself a campfire as well. All we need to do a stone and wood. We'll put that there. And yeah, with spark plugs, we can make it into copper. Filters can be made into polymer. I'm not gonna do that, though, obviously. Let's salvage all of the guns. Earpiece salvaged as well. Salvaging all the tools we don't need. All of the junk. Also, I got myself popcorn from the cinema. Yeah, with glass shards, we can make gloss. We can make drawbridges as well. That's so nice. All right, so with glass, we can basically make glass walls and all of that, I assume. All right, I just, let's just put stuff in here, though. As for copper ore, let me check how we can actually... Oh, right, yeah, we need coal. Okay, I'm pretty sure we get that from the mines then. Let's put everything in here, all the bones, the dye, the copper, bi antibiotics. And probably my next step is actually going into the mines then. 
Alright everybody, that's going to be it for episode 1. Now in episode 2, we will continue, as I say, we go into the mines, and we continue looting around, uh, and so on. So if you guys do want to see episode 2 come out as soon as possible, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!